Sometimes this roof up over my head starts getting me down Crowding me out You know what I'm talking about I need to clear my head and head for the countryside Take a little walk Maybe take a little ride Bullfrogs croaking, smallmouth jumping Wind blowing through the trees So let's throw a cooler in the truck I know where I want to be Outdoors with Joey Mines In a deer stand back in the woods Or kicking back wet in the line Rainbows, sunshine it's all good, cause I'm doing what I love with who I like I can find that peace of mind I'm looking for Outdoors Outdoors with Joey Mines is brought to you in part by Wendy's Lowrance Highlands Marina Resort Mid-State RV Center. Yukonuba, Extraordinary Nutrition. And The Aviator by Forest River. Available exclusively at Mid-State RV Center. For the next half hour, join us outdoors with Joey Mine. But it's all good, cause we're doing what we love with who we like. We can find that peace of mind we're looking for. What happened, for. boy? <laughs> Outdoors. Where'd it go? Hi folks, welcome to this week's show. Today, we're in Charleston, South Carolina, sheephead fishing. I've got Captain Brent. Let's talk about what the folks can expect today. Well, hopefully the fish are gonna eat it up today. We've, we've been catching 20 to 30 sheephead just about every trip. On a good day, we catch 40 or so. On a bad day, we might catch six or seven. Okay. Uh, we had a, a charter Thursday, we caught about 40 fish. So wow. Hopefully they're gonna eat it up. And fish have been average anywhere from three to eight or nine pounds. Every now and then, we get lucky and get a 10 pounder. Okay. Of course, sheephead's a very, very finicky bite. Um, basically, uh, keep pulling your line up till you figure out you got one on it. I understand. <laughs> you set the hook before they bite. Exactly. And there's, there's a fish right there, folks. We got Paul Rambler. He's with Wendy's. And uh, Paul, you got one, don't you? Yes, sir. That's the way to do it. Here, yeah, there you go. That didn't take long. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, you did everything. He's straightened that hook out. Look at that. Folks, uh, I've got Captain Look Kevin Davis up. from Black's Camp with us also. Uh, if you're interested in Santee Cooper, well, he's one of the top guides in the country for catching catfish as well as the big crappie. A lot of exciting action in Charleston, South Carolina. Well, folks, this is the first sheephead I've, I've had hooked down here in Charleston. And it was out there for about two minutes before he grabbed it. All right, let's see what we got. Golly. It's big enough to need the net. He's kind of trying to take you on out the boat there, partner. He, he's bigger than a bread basket. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how strong they are. Golly, he is strong. Look at that. That's a medium heavy rod with 12 pound test line on it, and he's abusing it. <laughs> now, one thing I'm seeing today. Nice fish. Oh, that's that's a five, six pound fish. Oh, isn't yeah. It? Yeah. At least six. Yeah, that's a good. Oh, yeah. He ain't yeah. quite ready to come see us yet. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. I, there we go. Nice. Pretty fish. Yeah. He might be seven. Yeah. Beautiful. Good job. And what great fillets come okay. out of that. <laughs> now, one thing about this rig, we've got a uh, 12-pound test line. Is that what this is? It is 12 pounds. And the other thing about it, it's red. Do you think the red line is important? I, I use the Cajun red uh, for sheephead fishing, and I do think it makes a difference. We use a fairly small hook. and uh, Look at the teeth. You can see what we're dealing with here. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. You see these rows inside his mouth. It makes it really tough to get the hook in the fish. So right. a lot of fish you miss just because you, you don't have it in the right spot. You're not going to hook it in here. 
But we catch, that's why we use a small hook. Okay. Catch a piece of meat somewhere in there, or sometimes they'll take it right on down the throat. You know, a lot of people uh, say you set the hook before they bite, and that is that is that the helps. case. Is that not correct? <laughs> exactly. The minute you feel anything going on, <laughs> you better get the hook in him or you're going to uh, be uh, missing your fiddler crap. <laughs> now, as far as somebody that wants to eat fish, tell them about this one. Uh, this is as good as it gets. It's a beautiful white meat. Uh, if you play it really close to the skin, you get a little bit of red, so I usually just back my fillet knife off an eighth of an inch or so. Makes a beautiful fillet. A lot of people use them for sushi. Uh, okay. They, they are really That's really raw good fish. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not, I'm not a in. A lot of it. people not counting me and yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, I, I like mine fried. You can fry it, can't you? This is, yeah. I like any kind of fish fried better yeah, than anything yeah. else. Yeah, I fry my water in case y'all wonder. I, I like fried food. <laughs> fried uh, ice cream, everything fried ice, else. Everything you can fry, is, I'm in for. But boy, what a nice fish. Let's get him in the live Let's well. Let's get him in the live well. Boy, this is great. Is that chicken? On a pretzel bun. Pretzel bun? Um, it's Wendy's pretzel pup chicken. Oh, look what's on a pretzel bun now. Lightly breaded chicken, natural Munster cheese, honey mustard, and warm cheddar sauce. Wendy's new pretzel pup chicken. Now that's better. And now kids meals just $1.99 after four. Hi, this is Tina Pickard at Mid-State RV Center Body Shop. Here we can repair any RV concern, whether it's damage to the body, damage to the frame, damage to the roof. We do it all here at Mid-State RV Body Shop. We have a full-sized paint booth that is state-of-the-art, second to none in the southeast. We specialize in brake repair, particularly on the workhorse chassis where we are the only warranty center for workhorse in the state of Georgia. We do warranty work on Coachman, on XLR and workhorse, as well as many other Forest River product lines. We also do warranty work for many of the components and appliances that are on all manufacturers. Anyone interested in learning more about Midstate RV Center and what we have to offer, please visit our website at midstaterv.com. Look at that big old, that's five nice. pound fish. Nice. That's Man. Like four pounds of fillets. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Man. Now they're hitting it literally just about every minute or, look at that fish right there. What? Golly. Look at that. We're going to eat him tonight. You know, one thing about Black's Camp and, and last yeah. night was no exception. I had a group from Wendy's with me, and we we went brim fishing yesterday and caught a box full of brim, Kevin, and that was that was outstanding. Uh, we carried them back to your restaurant at Black's Camp. They cooked them up last night for us, and I got to tell you, it's one of the finest meals I've ever eaten. Thank you. It, it wow. was absolutely wonderful, and that that's just a little added touch that y'all do. Uh, y'all cater to your customers. We try to. We try to keep them coming back. You know, word of mouth is the best advertising you can get. So sure. We, uh, you know, we try to keep our motels and cabins clean and keep the food good. And, um, you know, um, fishermen are very, uh, they enjoy it. Well, we, we have everything. We try to have everything that the fishermen can ever want. I understand. Now, one thing you're doing now, you're doing a television show as well. Yeah. And, folks, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Over the next few weeks, you're going to see some of the clips from your TV show on my show, and uh, hope that they'll tune in and watch you. I know they can look at it on YouTube right. and learn a little bit about the South, learn a little bit about the ocean, as well as uh, Santee Cooper, which is outstanding. Well, we appreciate it too. We look with the Santee Cooper Sports from TV. Look forward to working with you. Yeah, yeah. How about a little help there, Captain? Hey, y'all don't worry about me. I see you at the way in, but I said, all right. Nice. Look at there. Can Golly. you get two at one time? Wow. <laughs> Mine left the country. <laughs> wow. We can't catch them any faster than this. Is this the best we can do? <laughs> <laughs> well, we only got two rods in the water. <laughs> uh, nice My black. goodness, look at this. Nice. Wow. Y'all don't you worry about me. <laughs> That's all right. Y'all need, you. <laughs> you boys need something to drink or something to eat. Uh, y'all need, uh, don't worry, I'm going to go ahead and try and catch one while y'all doing that. Y'all show the folks at home. Hopefully I'll have one on. 
the tide has turned, so to speak. And uh, that does make the difference on catching these big fish. Look at that. There's one right there. Look at that. Wow. Man, oh man. Nice. That's three or four pounds. Good, Good four eating. pounds. Good eating size. Goodness. And look at that. Another chunk. <laughs> they're all, they're all chunks. <laughs> I mean, these are. They actually have to be we hadn't had one we even had to measure. No, we hadn't had that. one less. Oh, that's a, that's a oh, five pounder. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that. It's five nice. pounds. Five pounds. Wow. Look at that. Woo. Look, look at Paul. Look at Paul, Joey. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Paul, why don't you just get in my spot next time? Right? <laughs> don't, don't let this be a problem. Brent, Brent told me. He told me how to, he's the captain. He told me how to fish. He said, wherever somebody fishes and catches one, that's where you want to be. They do good <laughs> <laughs> well, you think Always we, listen to my guide. We got a 24 foot boat and there's four of us fishing in three a three foot section. How's that work? It's gonna work good for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out on the nose, boy. I just need to get the rock. <laughs> Where's the net? I'll get the net on. Joe, you gonna be the net man? I'll be the net man. I, it won't be the first fish I've netted. <laughs> hey now when you go with me out, Paul. uh, Paul's been fishing with me for so long uh, it was sooner or later you're going to catch a fish <laughs> <My first. laughs> oh. well, that's a pretty one look at there another one man man, they're hard to grab Slays waiting to happen wow <laughs> alright folks I've got one of my dear friends Paul Rambler He's with Wendy's. Uh, Paul, one thing I want to talk about is a fundraiser that y'all did for Camp Sunshine with the key tags. Tell the folks about that. Well, this year we, uh, we raised $150,000 for Camp Sunshine, uh, and we did that through selling key tags with Wendy's. You paid a dollar, and then every time you came in till the end of this year, you were able to get a free Junior Frosty with uh, with the purchase. So man, that that is so much money. Uh, camp Sunshine is a camp for children with cancer. It's one of my favorite places that I go each year. I take a lot of the kids fishing. Uh, I was a counselor for years. Wendy's, uh, you have a big tournament as well. But this key tag thing is is really really special. It really took off. This last year, we had we had uh, done the key tag program and and raised about thirty thousand dollars. And this year, a lot of people got behind it. We did it in a couple of more areas in Georgia, and we were able to to raise one hundred and fifty thousand. Well, folks, uh, one thing for sure: when it's time for lunch, when it's time for dinner, people like Paul, franchisees, owners, uh, the management of Wendy's. Uh, these are quality people that give back to the community in such a big way. Uh, when it's time for lunch, it's time for Wendy's. Y'all stay with us. We'll be right back. Is that chicken on a pretzel bun? Pretzel bun? Um, it's Wendy's pretzel pup chicken. Oh, look what's on a pretzel bun now. Lightly breaded chicken, natural Munster cheese, honey mustard, and warm cheddar sauce. Wendy's new pretzel pub chicken. Now that's better. And now kids' meals just $1.99 after four. Folks, it's time to go fishing on West Point Lake in LaGrange, Georgia. This is my 30th year of guiding on West Point for stripers and crappie. Striper fishing is outstanding on West Point. A typical day consists of stripers in the five to 15 pound class. Crappy fishing is my favorite trip I take on West Point. Over the years, I have put over 75 brush piles on the lake that concentrate the crappy in large numbers. New for 2013, I am running two guide boats. I have a 22-foot center console and a 22-foot pontoon with bass seats that is capable of fishing up to six people. The pontoon is handicap accessible. Like me on Facebook to have a chance to win a two-day fishing trip with me on West Point. To book a trip, call 706-402-3607 or visit me on the web at joeymines.com.
Looking for a great location for a romantic getaway, a family vacation, a reunion, or a fishing party with your buddies? Come to Highland Marina Resort. We have waterfront cabins to fit every budget. Check out our newly constructed Lake Point Chalets. The lake views are awesome and the sunsets are breathtaking. There's a waterfront restaurant and a fleet of rental craft. And the fishing, it's awesome. For all the details, visit our website at highlandmarinaresort.com. Don't worry about me, Cap. <laughs> wow. Don't let that one go out the boat. <laughs> need a little help up there? Yeah, he's going to need a little help. I'm going to get out of your way. All right. Nice. Wow, look, look at that. Life is good. <laughs> Rip stick bike guy, sir. Oh, man. Shoot that fish and cross the park. Wow. Come here, boy. It took us, what, five minutes to get to this spot? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were we, 30 minutes yeah, to get here. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't think we'd ever get here. <laughs> There's one, kid. Up jump the devil. I got me a nibble. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, got, I, I got his attention, that's for sure. <laughs> now this end right here is the end that the bullet comes out of, right? On the very tip. I just want to make sure. Let's see if I can catch me one. Man, look at the power on this fish right here. <laughs> Again, that's a medium heavy rod. Yeah. And he's just making it look like a, wow. a toothpick. What a, what a wonderful day to be on the on the ocean. Things have cooled down enough you're not sweating while you're fishing. That's another plus. Well, the time of year is October. Oh, Kevin's yeah, got Kevin's one. Got there one we go. got a double dipper there. We <laughs> got two got on. One. Well, I think mine's going to be bigger. I can already <laughs> tell. Yes, <laughs> it is. I guarantee you mine's bigger. I don't know. That's, pretty that's nice a pretty one. good one. Wow. <laughs> Hang on. I'm coming right behind. Uh, Look at I'm that. Mine a, a, a double swallow up here. <laughs> I'm a <laughs> Nice. <laughs> All right. Put me in, coach. <laughs> <laughs> when they when they hit that tip, do you set the hook? <laughs> Pull the trigger. <laughs> Pull the trigger. Uh, man, well, these you, are you chunks. The hook as soon as you feel it? I'm giving him just a second. Just a, I mean a tenth of a second. Yeah, we'll see. That's, that's another five pound plus fish, I can tell you that. He's a chunk. Golly, look at that fish. Paul. Two of them. Paul's got one Double. too. Yeah, good, yeah. good, good, good. Oh, that's a good one. Mine's a real one. <laughs> Where are you at? He's uh, trying to come eat Joey's. Yeah. Look at this one right here. There's a chunk. He's five, six. He's five, six pounds. Golly, look at that. Yeah, that's a chunk. Wow. Wow! That's the, that's the way to mess up. Whoa! <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> he took my trick and he took my worm. That's a shame. <laughs> Well, we have one break off. That's all right. He'll be there tomorrow for your next guide trip. And uh, it's obvious there's a herd of them down there. Yeah, that's what he got. This is a small one, I believe. <laughs> He's not, not got a little small. drag going He's here. trying to grow up a little Easy, bit. Boy. I'm, I'm good. I don't think I'm going to need it for a while yet. <laughs> Yeah, let that fish up for us. Catch them all, boys. Catch them Kevin, all. Kevin, let me show you something different. Watch this. Uh, don't net him. Watch this. Don't net him. They, if you lay your hand on their stomach, they will just lay down and quit fighting. That's the way a walleye will do. Really? Yeah. A walleye will lay, go to sleep. Won't Let's kick it there. off. <laughs> There ain't nothing like having a professional guy that knows uh, what he's doing. It used to be my net would fall out the boat about every trip. <laughs> you <laughs> you learn to do it without. You had to learn how to do it. Uh, <laughs> Another pretty fish. Man.
fillets for Black's Fish Camp. <laughs> if you look around us, uh, the tide has changed, and we've got, I guess it's an incoming tide. It's uh, just starting to come back in. Just starting and, to come back in. And the current's going to start to pick back up going the other direction right now. Now that's the key to catching these fish, isn't it? Tides. When we're anchored, we like to fish at low tide. A lot okay. of times out here the wind's too, uh, too heavy to be able to fish other okay. tides, so you got some protection from the wind at low tide. Uh, when we anchor, we do a little bit of chumming and, and put our fiddlers out, and that seems to work really well at low tide. Then as the tide gets three quarters to high tide, we put the troll motor down and fish up on top of the rocks. Okay. You can see up on, on these rocks, these fish, uh, in the middle of the day, you can, you can get out here with your, your uh, sunglasses on, you can actually see these fish feeding. They move up and down the rocks in schools. Um, sometimes you'll see 10 or 12 right behind one rock where the water swirls. Okay. But at low tide, we tend to fish the rocks that are under the water and we'll just feel around with the, with the rod and reel until you find that last rock, and that's where the fish move up and down the, the rocks. Now, as far as the time of year, uh, when do you catch these fish? Anytime after 4th of July is usually, uh, okay. the bass fishing really slows down and we can move sure. out here and have a ball sure. out here. Uh, through the hot season, uh, I usually uh, back off after November, mainly because of duck season. <laughs> okay. But uh, the fish are still here uh, during the real cold months. They do move out to the reefs and then they come in to spawn back in, in uh, June, July again. Now, you also guide on Santee Cooper for bass. Tell the folks about that. I, I'd much rather be right there in the backyard. I grew up on Santee Cooper. I've fished there my whole life. I compete uh, just about every weekend when, during the spring. Uh, spend a lot of time bass fishing. Uh, it's one of the best lakes in the country for catching big bass. We, uh, we have a, a lot of eight pounders, a lot of 10 pounders. We had a tournament just uh, last year where we weighed in two 10 pounders in the same day. Good gracious alive. Uh, you know, I grew up about 50 miles from Santee Cooper, a little town called Hartsville, and I cut my teeth fishing at Santee. So uh, Santee's kind of home for me as well. And I can attest for it being one of the top lakes in the country, bass, crappy, as well as the big catfish. Absolutely. We actually have hydrilla back now. We've got some eel grass, and it's made the lake where shallow water fishing's wide open again. You can catch fish on a frog on top water, mm -hmm. catch fish on swim baits. You know, fishing's really coming back, and we're starting to catch a lot of fish again. Okay. In his eyes, a race needs no finish line. In her eyes, the world is never too big. In his, the weather should never keep you inside. Because they see no limits, there's Yukonuba Nutrition, designed to help their body go as far as their mind wants to. Yukonuba, extraordinary nutrition for extraordinary beings. See the difference in 28 days or your money back. Folks, it's time to go fishing on West Point Lake in LaGrange, Georgia. This is my 30th year of guiding on West Point for stripers and crappy. Striper fishing is outstanding on West Point. A typical day consists of stripers in the 5 to 15 pound class. Crappy fishing is my favorite trip I take on West Point. Over the years, I have put over 75 brush piles on the lake that concentrate the crappy in large numbers. New for 2013, I am running two guide boats. I have a 22-foot center console and a 22-foot pontoon with bass seats that is capable of fishing up to six people. The pontoon is handicap accessible. Like me on Facebook to have a chance to win a two-day fishing trip with me on West Point. To book a trip, call 706-402-3607 or visit me on the web at joeyminds.com. Looking for a great location for a romantic getaway, a family vacation, a reunion, or a fishing party with your buddies? Come to Highland Marina Resort. We have waterfront cabins to fit every budget. Check out our newly constructed Lake Point Chalets. The lake views are awesome and the sunsets are breathtaking. There's a waterfront restaurant and a fleet of rental craft. And the fishing, it's awesome. For all the details, visit our website at highlandmarinaresort.com. All right, guys, things are starting to warm up. I got mine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I, I got me a little one. You got that one? Yeah, I got me a little oh, one. A a folks, sea bass. That's what a little sea bass looks like. That's what sheephead looks like. <laughs> <laughs> this is the target fish. Get him straight, Paul. All right. <laughs>
Mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> now this this is a little sea bass, and he is not a legal fish. Is that correct? He's got to be. That what, is correct. Got to get inches? fourteen inches. Okay. In his eyes, a race needs no finish line. In her eyes, the world is never too big. In his, the weather should never keep you inside. Because they see no limits, there's Yukonuba Nutrition, designed to help their body go as far as their mind wants to. Yukonuba, extraordinary nutrition for extraordinary beings. See the difference in 28 days or your money back. Folks, it's time to go fishing on West Point Lake in LaGrange, Georgia. This is my 30th year of guiding on West Point for stripers and crappie. Striper fishing is outstanding on West Point. A typical day consists of stripers in the 5 to 15 pound class. Crappie fishing is my favorite trip I take on West Point. Over the years, I have put over 75 brush piles on the lake that concentrate the crappie in large numbers. New for 2013, I am running two guide boats. I have a 22-foot center console and a 22-foot pontoon with bass seats that is capable of fishing up to six people. The pontoon is handicap accessible. Like me on Facebook to have a chance to win a two-day fishing trip with me on West Point. To book a trip, call 706-402-3607 or visit me on the web at joeyminds.com. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's show. Uh, this is outstanding. Charleston, South Carolina. Captain Brent, uh, tell the folks how they can get in touch with you. Uh, again, it's Big Brent's Big Bite Guide Service. Uh, phone number is 843-729-5178. Just give me a call. That, that line stays open all the time. If I happen to not answer it, I will get back in touch with you. Just let me know you want to go fishing. Kevin? This Black is outstanding. Black's Camp, uh, <laughs> we're staying at Black's Camp, so uh, tell the folks a little bit about how they can get in touch with you. All right. Uh, Black'sCamp.com or 843-753-2231. Okay. We're on YouTube, Facebook, and Black's Camp and Wrestling. Folks, uh, for Paul, Rambler, Brent, Kevin, I'm Joey Mines. Now that's some good hunting and good fishing. I'll see you next week. Ah. bigger than a bad bad kind of Oh, look at that. That's a good one. It's a long one. Five, six pounds, sure enough. Right. Or seven. It's kind yeah. of grown up.